What's going on? Hey, hold on a second. Hold on. I want you to look at this sad sap that I have right here. Hello. Hello, friend. This is Ruby. Say hi to Ruby. Hi, Ruby. She's Give been licking her tongue, so she has to wear a sweater because it got to the point of bleeding. But she's looking cute today. I just wanted to show her off. I'm very sorry to hear that your cat is uh, suffering in that way. Or whatever. Did yeah. you say it was from licking or? Yeah, she has like this nervous habit of licking, licking her stomach. And she okay. has like this like little scab that she constantly picks at. Oh, my, my cat used bleeds, to have but... a very similar problem. Yeah. yeah but she's allergy. a cutie though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I hope, so I hope they feel better soon. Mm -hmm. What's that? How you been? Fine. I uh, just got murdered a fuckload of times in uh, in Among Us. Apparently, I have <laughs> such sus. I have such sus energy that I get I get blasted out of the uh, out of the the uh, airlock. No matter what, they just do it just to be sure. I've only mm -hmm. ever been imposter two times. I think maybe actually I think it might be three across all of the three days that we've played. But it's all right. I have perma sus energy, I suppose. I was like peeking over back and forth between your stream to see if you were like if you were ever if you were going to finish up at some point. And every time I looked over, I'm like, oh my god, she's just dead. Yep. <laughs> For I was like dead. two hours. All I and was I'm like, was what dead. the hell? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway. yeah. I mean, I did. That's true, Wendelby. I did kind of. Uh, I kind of. I kind of got a little little aggro with that one, but I thought it would be a good opportunity because nobody else was there at first. But eh, whatever. It happens. It happens. I, yeah. I also got murdered all the time, so yeah, one yeah. person saw it. Yeah, it was a it was a rough time. It's okay, I'll get better at it over time, and then no one will be able to win. But by then, everyone will be done playing, so I'll just be laughing yeah. alone in uh, in solo Among Us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Anyways, so what's up? You, all right, you hit me with so, your hot memes. Did you, did you watch the segment earlier or no? Yeah, I watched parts of it. Okay. Um, I saw kind of what your opinion was i want to at least try and give you a timeline like from start to finish as sure. to like how i kind of saw this out mm -hmm. so you can at least get where my head's at sure um so i watched this segment um back when he said that he was trying to warm his way into the drama community uh back in november and there was a video released by optimus uh that was like uh that was clipping xander hall about this and saying like what the fuck is this kid doing and it got like nearly 200,000 views or like I think 180 specifically. Okay. And for all for, for all that I understand and agree with Zen saying that like leftists need to be more in the drama space, I do think that it kind of it came off a bit weird more than anything. So that was the first point I was like, "Yeah, this is kind of weird." Okay. Um how, so how, when you say weird, weird, like what do you mean? Like you didn't like uh, it or like I it, it, I don't know. It just seems like um a bit arrogant more than anything it's just personal taste like i'm not okay. i just say i'm just saying this is like i'm trying to build like a case of like these little things that kind of led me to think that like okay this is maybe where like i can see that he's either clout chasing or trying to like uh changes he doesn't really like care about the beliefs he's just trying to get more followers and that's kind of what i'm trying to build here is that like he tried to do this sort of like uh get into these spaces and get like a broader following in like the drama community okay. at least in this i think that was at least the attempt here Sure. um well i and, guess i'm just i'm just okay go, go for it I, I lay out your case and then i'll, I'll see what i yeah yeah yeah. okay there's and there's like a couple different points here so sure, sure. It, it's gonna it's gonna take a minute That's fine. um but okay so that happens with optimus uh he, there's like three thousand comments in that video that essentially say like are essentially reiterating the same idea which is like what the fuck is this kid doing okay um so that to me is kind of a bit of a failure on that sense um but then uh fast forward to uh, i think i forget when the exact video was released and he releases uh uh actually no we were on twitter and slur discourse really fucking sucks but uh he said that gasano's a slur and leftist tech support gives like a kind of detailed explanation as to his personal experience with sure. it and tries to approach him in a way that's like hey in my lived experience, I don't believe that this is the case. Uh, I live amongst the, uh, the people where this would apply. Mm -hmm. It's not really considered a slur in these spaces. Okay. Um, and Zan just like dismisses it right off the bat. And you know, Mel comes in with the hot Twitter takes, yeah. uh, and because you know, Twitter is an awful fucking platform, as you as you know. Yeah, we looked at this and, earlier. Uh, his his like tweet about that had like four hundred and fourteen quote retweets. That's quite a lot of yeah. quote retweets. Most of them were were quite. Uh, Critical, which I thought was a little weird because usually, like, um, 
usually these types of things are like um, people, you know, like mad about someone using a slur, not someone not using a slur, which was, you know, struck me as a little bit unique in this particular situation. Yeah, it's weird. And sure. I generally don't, I generally avoid using slurs altogether. I don't necessarily think that they're that practical. They're that useful. They're yeah, not good yeah. for advocacy. Okay. But I do agree. I do agree with the sentiment that leftist tech support was laying out. Okay. Um, so yeah, dismisses that claim. Uh, Mel comes in with the hot takes. Mm-hmm. Um, essentially, and then Xander calls her a tanky, which to me, I feel that in leftist spaces, tanky is used as kind of a pejorative to kind of immediately shut down discourse as like a thought terminating cliche. Okay. Um, and you know, right off the bat, it, it, it rubs me the wrong way because I, I, I enjoy, I enjoy Mel. I think that she, uh, yeah, yeah. she, t- she tends to be pretty reasonable to interact with if you ask her questions. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, she but also yeah, has I, self-described as a tanky many times in the past. Um, more as a meme than an actual description. Well, yeah, but though. how does, how is someone like supposed to know that's as a meme? That's like, that's like kind of the same thing that like, like, and I know these aren't equivalent, but it's kind of the same thing as people do when I was like, just like, like, oh, I'm just ironically like referring to myself as like a national socialist or, or, or something like that. Like, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just That'd be something like you'd irony. have to ask her. I don't yeah, really yeah. know. But what I'm saying is that like, sure. to, to like, I think that like, it's frequently used to shut down discourse. And Xander Hall has a pattern of doing stuff like this, uh, of like either sending like very short, quippy responses uh, to say like, I'm not interested in like flushing this out, whether it's sure. good, whether it's like a elaborate, detailed response, okay. or whether it's just kind of short and inflammatory. He's not typically interested in trying to like flesh out an idea. Um, and uh, so that happens. And he says, I, I'm taking the sock pill. So I watched that video of him taking the sock pill. And my personal opinion is that like you can exist in leftist online spaces, uh, represent your views accurately. Like, for example, Vosh says that he's an anarchist, but he advocates for market socialist positions, uh, which that's cool. I'm cool with people doing that. But to me, where it says that you're going to where you're going to change like titles and stuff like that, to me, it kind of obfuscates the meaning of these words a bit, uh, which I tend to be one of those people that really likes to have clear set definitions, especially with leftist spaces where it can get really confusing very fast, especially yeah. with like sock dem, dem sock. Uh, I feel like a lot of people that are new to these spaces really don't understand the difference between the two. And him doing that can be kind of um, murking the waters, in my opinion. Okay. So and also I feel like one of his uh first the first things that he stated as his intention was to expand his audience. Mm-hmm. Um so I think that Zan saying that his primary intention to expand his audience again it's it's again it comes back to that pattern of like oh last time he tried to do this he did this by trying to get into the drama community this time he's trying to change his like political identity to expand his audience this time. It seems like he's just trying like it's my opinion okay. and I don't feel like it's like unreasonable to get to these conclusions that like he's just trying different things out to see what will stick uh, to get a big to like well, get I mean, a bigger do you audience think that like do you think that like last now and again this is just my experience as of like a couple mm-hmm. of days ago um, when I popped in on his uh, in his chat for a while he was talking about how like drama stuff is very much something he's still interested in doing and is still doing. So like no, I don't know but, like do you think that like like I don't know because it feels to me like right now there's like some equi- equating between going on between like being a sock dem and being a you know into the drama stuff but to me it just seems like he decided he wanted to go into drama stuff and then also decided hey sock dem is a better descriptor to me at least that's what it looks like I think between the announcement like the announce like it's for lack of a better way I think that the announcements seem corny and they seem like okay. they seem like uh uh. I don't, I don't, I don't really know what to say besides like a gambit of like, I really want to have this larger audience. And he directly announces this intent. Okay. I don't know if this is out of like, um, out of, or, or out of like me, just like, just getting weird vibes from it other than that. Okay. But like, it just feels like a grift. And like, if you go into like Optimus's video, he also kind of explains the same thing. Uh, not to say that I think that Optimus is like a good person or anything like that, mm-hmm. but like he also kind of explains like why do we need like these po- uh, politicians and or like politics streamers like in these spaces? Like it just seems like he's just trying to get more followers. Like he he goes over this in that video. Okay. Um. So like, and that that's just my feeling. This is an interpretation. It feels like that. And the other thing too is is that my on the other half, I feel like Xander Hall has a lot of ways that he can improve his content uh, to begin with. 
So okay. one of the debates that I've seen in re uh, recently uh, was the ask yourself versus Z uh, Zan debate. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that it's really important that like you learn from your experiences as a debater when you get when you lose or like when you obviously look bad because mm -hmm. no matter how he got there, I think that like making uh, getting to the point of like openly saying that I will support a genocide of disabled people for meat, which he did say, it, that's not good. And I also think that for someone who's a socialist to not be able to defend uh, there is no ethical consumption under capitalism uh, through a utilitarian framework, I think that that's something that he should be getting, that he should be able to do. I feel like that's something that a lot of leftists should be able to do. And I don't know. I, I just think that, uh, that in that debate, it was uh, emblematic of the fact that he is not very good rhetorically when it comes to someone that knows what they're talking about. Um, okay. And then I, what I'm trying to do is I'm tying that debate to his most recent video on the black on black culture and the black experience, mm -hmm. uh, where he is, he doesn't really, he uses more feels versus reels arguments. Uh, he contradicts himself within the same segment saying that there is black culture and there is no black culture. Uh, something that he did in the ask yourself debate where he was contra literally contradicting himself within his statements. Um, he, he's just very careless, at least with his language. And it can't like, uh, particularly the rap take that rap is, um, uh, like pretty much like mostly about money, um, money, how well you can rap and uh, weed. That mm -hmm. take to me is like Paul Joseph Watson level takes. Like it is like very far right wing. It's like, to me, it's like indicative of like right wing spaces, honestly. Mm -hmm. And the other one too is where uh, he says that, um, what was it? Sorry. Um, sorry, my, I'm racking my brains right now. Oh, the other one that said was uh, if you're poor, especially when he's talking about specifically black topics, mm -hmm. it can be very easily misconstrued when like, uh, when you're poor, you don't have good manners. Mm -hmm. That's something that also just sounds like something out of a, a, a right wing video, mm -hmm. because if we're talking about like anecdote, anytime, uh, my wife is a teacher at a title one school. There's like about half the population at that school is black. My experience with them is that they're very polite and good kids. You know, they're no more rowdy than like your average teenager. Like mm -hmm. that's like, you know, crazy fucking teenager with hormones mm -hmm. is and i just feel like these takes are like very reductive uh there are much stronger arguments that we could be making that he's not making mm -hmm. and my point is is to say that like you've had plenty of time within less of spaces you've been a streamer for over a year to to be able to learn these arguments and be able to to incorporate them into your rhetoric mm -hmm. and i think that like not learning from stuff like the ask yourself debate which is indicative of his poor rhetoric and he still has these problems that to me is like where I'm like Xander Hall that you could really improve your content. Mm -hmm. okay. And like the reason I went the route of calling him a grifter and making like these really, um, you're pretty like fucking really hard on him. Yeah. Like, yeah. and the thing is that like, you have to, like, I feel like when you're a smaller creator, you have to be somewhat incendiary because Zanzi made a video like three days earlier than me calling out the same problems that he had with Xander Hall. He didn't add the race stuff because that video didn't come out yet, but he added the same, he had a much more even keeled Zanzi's, response. Zanzi's here. Look, like, I think, I think we can, you know, I think we're okay with being like pretty upfront and blunt here. Um, mm. Zanzi's video was like in, in another galaxy from your video, in my opinion. Like Zanzi's Probably. video had like articulated um, critiques. I actually sent Zanzi's video to Xander Hall because I was like, hey, listen, I don't know your positions as well, but Zanzi is one of the best faith people I've ever engaged with. Mm -hmm. And Zanzi has critiqued me in the past. Um, mm -hmm. Zanzi has, has like, is, is like possibly one of the most good faith people I've ever engaged with. And your video was l like, literally wasn't anything like that at all, in my opinion. Like not even that, close, not even like in the same galaxy. Like I said, I think that, I think that you can be aggressive. I think that Xander Hall's a big boy. I think that he can handle aggressive criticism. Mm -hmm. And I think that like, just because my tone may not be something that he's like, um, well, it's not a matter of tone. Like, I'm sorry, but I don't think that this is a matter of tone. We watched this video. Okay. Early. So where do you think I like, where, like what in the, the well, content I mean, of what I presented? Let me talk, right? No, sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Continue. My Listen, bad. Like, like, I think the video, um, we watched this video earlier. I did a whole segment on all this, digging back mm -hmm. into the drama, trying to figure it out, get to the bottom of it. Your video was like incredibly uncharitable in my opinion. Like one of okay. the most like, 
I, I think I earlier compared it, uh, maybe, perhaps this was a little hyperbolic, but I don't think it's that hyperbolic. It was very close to, like, reminding me of, like, PragerU level of tactics. Like, I mean, literally just total clip chimping. Um, and, and I would agree with it. Like, I think that that's a fair accusation. You gave like sec, like five second clips with no context, no dates from the stream came on with your own text superimposed over it. Like it was very clear that this was like a very spitefully made video versus, I mean, and again, like no comparison to Zanzi's Zanzi's being a video that was made in incredibly good faith, a, a long winded explanation that clearly intended to have some sort of, um, forward motion. Whereas yours was like basically just saying like haha xander hall dumb i don't like xander hall and that's like i don't really there was no argument made in your video like i tried to follow the argument there was no evidence actually lined up for the claims that you made which was that he's a lazy dishonest grifter and none of the things that you showed d displayed any of that okay like yeah. and so that, i just don't i don't know i don't really feel like it's a matter of tone i feel like it's a matter of like not the tone was off which is why i concluded you know, if somebody made a video like this about me, uh -huh. like when when a lot of people seem to be mad about the fact that he called you dumb fuck or whatever. But I don't know if somebody made a video like that about me, I would be I would be like I could understand why somebody would be like, oh, that's a dumb fuck thing to do. Um, Because it's like, I don't know, it the argument. There was no argument it, like that I saw in the video actually put together. It was like, again, very out of context, very uncharitable. So I don't really know. Like, I don't okay. think it's a tone thing. Yeah. I, I don't I like and that's that and that's your opinion and like I mean, if that's what yes, you believe that's that's yeah. fine like I, mean, I I think I laid it out pretty well too like in my yeah I I think though that um I do kind of explain myself why I include those specific clips what I say that uh he holds to dot like for example the reason why I include the ask yourself uh portions uh -huh. is that he holds to dogged positions even though it can like lead him into some pretty bad pass wait really like, like do you think that was yeah. do you actually think that's like a like a fair example of it because like like yeah. i watched that segment that you had which was like pretty long and also i note that you like editorialized on top of it like adding in reaction shots and whatnot to the mm -hmm. to the um in the editing which i mean sure i guess that's funny if you're trying to do the dunks um but like I don't feel like that, that like the way you characterize that conversation was like mm -hmm. particularly accurate. Like in my experience, it sounds like just like someone who's clearly out of their depth. Like you even included the part where he's like, I don't really know. I don't really like big philosophy talks. So it sounds like somebody who just kind of got cornered and like Socratic methoded into like some complicated shit. And um, yeah, like I don't think it was any like example of like some atrocious take or, or being particularly dogged. It just sounded like he kind of like wasn't thinking ahead and got out philosophized. And that happens sometimes. Yeah. And I don't think it was a great they... take, but it's like, I don't really see what you're this like thing that you're alleging this like dogged or, or, you know, position. And there wasn't any evidence presented that he so, hasn't even rethought that position. That was like, so months like, ago, right. Well, yeah, it was months ago, mm -hmm. but like uh, the point being the point of why I brought those clips up was mm -hmm. that, um, there was multiple instances where he could have asked questions to clarify how uh, Ask Yourself was getting to these like uh, premises and conclusions, mm -hmm. right? Xander Hall could have asked, there was plenty of opportunities where he could have asked questions. And it's, I think it's like a two hour long debate. Mm -hmm. Go check it out. Like I put a sure. link in the description. It's really, it's really interesting to, to see it. Um, I think, uh, what do you I think, think that, that that debate was like emblematic of in your opinion? I think it's emblematic of his he wasn't interested in asking questions uh, or like trying to figure out where premises and conclusions were coming from, okay. which is something that's really important in debate. Uh, the uh, when he finds that he finds like he's in a position where he may not necessarily like it, um, he feels like he has to just accept it because um, I don't know, like when the when ask yourself directly ask, do you believe in a Holocaust of mentally disabled people? To, in order to eat meat, Xander Hall twice said, "I, I that's fine. Yes, I, that's fine." So, I like, mean, I think he said, I, like, "I guess, yeah." Um, but to me, again, that sounded like it sounded like a sort of um, ad hoc. And and again, like, I don't know. I've been in debates my whole life, and sometimes, mm -hmm. like, I mean, I feel like there's there's times where you can get where you can work someone into a position. And then they mm -hmm. have to think, sit there and think about what the actual impl 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 uh, implications are of their argument. That doesn't necessarily mm -hmm. mean like, oh, yes, I actually support this. But in like some alternative no. universe, like, I mean, yeah. So and I don't, I don't know. imply like, that that's the case either. 
But I mean, wasn't the, wasn't that. the, wasn't the like core argument of your video that included this clip, like the fact that this is evidence of him being a, like a, like a diehard grifter. Like you literally had no, his no, no, face no. with like money falling. I'm saying all over that it. it's evidence of him being dog. Like I'm saying to me, this is evidence of him being incredibly dogged and like, that wait, like, what was my, my overarching point was that he's, he's lazy because he doesn't learn from his mistakes. Okay. The point what being evidence is that did you have of that? You okay, showed. Hold on. So like, the like the clip was from six months ago so in six months i think that like you have plenty of time to be able to rhetorically snuff like come up to snuff to where you can like re uh root out contradictions in your own arguments okay. so for instance he was contradict he was like uh making contradictory statements within that debate with ask yourself okay. like particularly in the the portion where he's talking about um, there is no ethical consumption under capitalism mm -hmm. that the, like ask yourself pointed out that he was making contradictory statements in in his uh in his line of thinking okay so what i'm saying is that when he's arguing for uh like black culture to both recognize the existence of black or when he's talking about black culture when he recognized the existence of it and then in a in the same seg the same 20 minute segment also doesn't recognize says that there is no black culture that's contradictory he's making these contradictory logic right, these logically contradictory statements no but like that's what i'm saying is that Wait, like the mistake okay. is still being made okay so what you're saying is is that and and I'm trying to to understand your argument here is that that the the core argument is that Xander Hall had flaws in his argument six months ago and he has flaws in another argument six months later and therefore like he's a grifter. Okay, so then the the second part of this argument is that like he's making these same mistakes and what not I'm the same seeing. Mistake. Like the fact that he's making within the same lines of uh, lines of thought or trains of thought these contradictory statements, like well, like wait, fundamentally wait, but, but, but contradictory. Like, but like making making contradictory or or um or bad like bad arguments isn't the same. Like like people make wrong arguments and accidentally contradict themselves all kinds of all, all all the time. I don't think those two are even close to the same. Like I don't. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so like, so then here's the point. Then okay. is that like he's he has a lot of characteristics of his like content from six months ago, okay. and he's had time to learn. Like what? And though? what I'm saying, say what? Like what though? You keep saying that, but then when I ask for example, like what? I thought I I think I'm just giving examples. Like that like this is this is at least one of the examples. Uh, the fact that he can um, the the fact that he has uh like. I didn't bring this up in this specific video, but I could have brought it up. The okay. fact that he was using ableist language back then, uh, and uh, uh, then the, and the fact is, is that like he's still uh, kind of using like making like these kind of really yikes takes towards marginalized community like um, communities. This wasn't in the video. I should have brought it up, but okay. you know whatever. That, I guess maybe that might uh, that might have made a stronger argument. I'm not sure, but anyways. Uh, the fact is, is that he is still making these, uh, he's still making these logical fallacies. He's still making kind of these yikes takes uh, months later. Okay. And I think that uh, one of the things that makes me think that this is a grift is that like he's finding that what he's doing currently is not working. And therefore he's trying to make these moves so that he can gain, he can, uh, without having to like develop his own rhetoric, mm -hmm. he's trying to like uh, change the part of the community he's in or mm -hmm. change the label that he's identifying as mm -hmm. that to me is like indicative of like um it's not really like trying to make yourself better it's just saying i'm not i don't see problems with my content as good. is even though that there are mm -hmm. i feel like i can move into these spaces or i can do these things i'm not following like any of that like i don't know how him saying i'm actually a sock dem like displays anything that you're arguing right now like that's just like are people not allowed to self-identify like, like, how does that have anything to do with whether he's a grifter or not? Like, how does his interest in the drama community? Like, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not following this logic at all. Um, okay. So let me ask this question. What, like, sure. at what point is like the disconnect? So I'm just, I'm just curious. Like, what, like, what part and what I've been saying is like not clicking? I mean, or like, or like, what point do you have like a everything? Like, that's the thing. That's that. Uh, like, no offense, but like, I don't, I didn't find the video that you made to to be making a particularly good argument. In fact, it felt um, pretty much like what you would do if you wanted to like make the most bad faith video on somebody you could possibly mm -hmm. imagine. And, and like, like, 
I was kind of surprised by that because there was so much talk about this. There's so much talk about this all over the timeline. And then I watched your video and it was just like, there was a section in fact, where you had like, um, the song, like it goes on, it goes on, it goes on. And all of these tweets were just popping up and flashing on the screen. And it's so much that you can't even stop to see what the tweets say on the video. And mm. I'm just like, this is just like, this is just emotionally like trying to like play into this idea. Oh, well he must be doing lots of racisms, but you can't even see the tweets. So I'm just like, I don't like, this feels okay. manipulative. Like, okay. Yeah. The, the idea, the idea at least behind that segment was, is uh -huh. it was kind of like a little, like it, the idea of being is that like, he doesn't understand hip hop. Death Grips is definitely hip hop. This is not something that's necessarily something that like, I think goes under the category here. But what does and that have to do? What does Death Grips have anything to do with grifting? Like these are you made okay. like no, 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 no. you were pretty harsh in your critiques. Is all I'm saying. And like, well, like here's the thing though. Like I have like I have like separate cases that need to build in order to build a grifting argument. So like my argument is is that like his rhetoric is bad, and because his rhetoric is bad and people don't find his rhetoric appealing, he's doing these things to kind of like move his community. Okay. I don't know. Like like that's kind of like what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know. Like, I'm going to be completely honest with you. And, you know, this might come across as a little harsh. Again, I don't have any, like, personal problem with you. But this particular video, no. um, I just found it kind of, like, ironic that, like, the whole thing is centered on, like, clout sharking and grifting. But then the, the way that you decided to go about, like, um, bringing up that case is by making one of the most like, like like possibly one of the more bad faith like um types of videos I, I i could i could think of on how you could try and communicate things to somebody and then like posting that to your youtube channel and like and and broadcasting it everywhere it kind of seems like a, a tiny bit hypocritical on that front because it does kind of seem like you're like doing the exact same thing you're accusing him of but actually a little bit so... with a little more evidence of it so here's the thing though like i think that it's fine to create firestorms i would even say that you've like you've somewhat done this in the past yourself oh, yeah, for sure like where it's fine to create firestorms to get people's attention and the thing is that like because like well, of but my... hold on a second though before you go into that like um mm -hmm. not all firestorms are the same and they're not all created equal like it's not just like oh create a firestorm and it's like more like a like it's gonna be a good it's like it's either a good thing or a bad thing depending on the context and um, when I've created, um, you know, firestorms in the past, I've gone in with an argument and with something to actually say uh, for myself. And um, I, and and I don't think that's what happened here. Like, I, I don't think think that's what happened here at all. I think that. Um, I don't know. I think that. I don't know. I I think that for you personally. You may not un I, like it's and like this is like not to like say anything about you other than the video is not for you and you just may not understand like what I'm trying to get at here and that's fine, but like I don't know I still think that like my points are somewhat cogent and that people seem to understand what I'm trying to get at here in the video. Maybe people's like I don't know. It's not Maybe. a video for everyone. Sometimes this is like well, like. But I mean, at the same time though, like you're basing you're basing your arguments off of like, oh well, Zan's rhetoric is bad, but then your rhetoric is bad. So again, like, it just seems kind of like, mm, okay, like what's supposed to be compelling so... about this? If you're if if you're just if like when I critique the video, the substance of the video. And then the answer is, well, maybe it just wasn't for you. Okay, so, well. Okay, but the but the critiques and the substance of the video is mainly editing decisions. Like, at least from what I've seen. It's not just editing decisions. It's that there's no actual... It's, I mean, the editing decisions certainly are a part. When you're talking about a video that you're putting on YouTube, editing decisions absolutely influence the message. In fact, that can change the message entirely. Um, and then on sure. top of that, the, the supposed arguments that were laid out in the video don't follow from beginning to end. You allege that he's a grifter and you show nothing but um, him performing badly in a debate, um, which you then edit up to make it look like he's like extra stupid. And then an unrelated topic that is a debate, a, like yeah. a debate about veganism, uh -huh. like on it is like really dry for the most part. Right. Uh -huh. Like, I, like, I don't know. Like there are like a lot of really dry segments in a debate. And for to keep a video concise, right? I'm not 
like i don't know i don't think it's reasonable to say that like i need so you, to so include you like chimped it right is what you did you found the spiciest things you could to make the video interesting so that people would watch the video and go whoa i mean like if like Here's the thing, though. It's only clip champing if it's like really taken out of context. And uh, I don't think that like uh, me, I don't think that I've removed significant context. And like I like I don't think that like if you watch the original videos that like the context really changed. I don't think that like the tone of what is being said really changes. I really don't. I don't know. Like those like, go watch again, the full I, two hour debate. Wait, go watch I, the full I watched, two hour debate. I watched the, the video earlier today and we talked like I talked no, no, no. about this. Even well, the, hold on a second. I even talked about this with my chat and like i don't know some of those things like those clips that you had about the manners and the other thing those are about the definition of clip chimping like like it's taking like five seconds of the of the, like i don't even know for all i know first of all and then the other part of it too is that there's no sources provided so finding context okay, wait becomes can very we hard. Like, let's let's keep let's keep to like one let's keep to one part of the video at a time sure so sure. like with the, with the ask yourself portion there i don't believe that like in the like the two hour context of that mm -hmm. debate for what I put in the video, yeah. that I'm mis re re misrepresenting what happened in that debate. I okay. don't, I Are don't believe vegan? that. No. Okay, you're not a vegan. I would so argue how, but, that that you are in a position that is equally bad morally to Xander Hall. If that's like, how? because th what what Xander Hall did. But was I in recognize this conversation, that. Wait, wait. In the I conversation, recognize my own hypocrisy in this. Like I recognize sure, that I'm but so did hypocritical he, in this. So did he though? But no, he didn't. Yeah, in though. that in that specific conversation, he absolutely did. He owned up to saying that, yeah, I guess I would have to support something horrible like this if I also support eating meat. Yeah, like but so here's he the thing, did though, own like, up to that. So you're in the exact I, same position. So what is the critique you're levying against him? Except the for that you don't is, like is that, him. Like, we then... get down, like he gets down, like he goes down these roads where um he literally begins to support like the genocide like i talk about okay but, and, you but instead also of like, do recognizing that. that like the, like instead of understanding that like yeah veganism is veganism is like the correct argument and that like i should probably abandon like the strict utilitarian standpoint here okay i think that like there are ways that he could have gotten out of that debate looking better and saying like hey i recognize that veganism like the 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 actual understanding of ve like the veganism argument okay is the better one here but I recognize that, like, because I'm human and I'm morally flawed, I am not going. I cannot. I cannot follow this as as is. Okay. So. So he did bad in an argument. Yeah. So like, that's, and that's that's and that's enough for you to. And I even recognize that. Say yeah. that, like, I don't fault him for that. But I, I mean, say that but in the here's video. the thing: like, right now, like, you're admitting that you hold the exact same position that he does. And I don't uh -huh. know that you're arguing your, your your point any better than he did, and so does that mean that you're wait now wait 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 that's not that's not the point though the point is like I it's not doesn't really matter what I believe right it matters more or less what Xander Hall believes I mean yeah, like how does Xander my moral Hall, convictions wait, wait, play wait. any part into the fact that Xan looks you're bad the in one this? who made the video calling him using using that example the thing that you also are guilty of as an example you, of him being a can grifter. you not are have you a like can you not have like um a good opinion but present it poorly. Wait, you absolutely can, but I don't know. So that, that's that, why like, my point is that wait, Xander Hall you, did a very bad job of presenting his opinion here. Okay. And I would argue that you did a very bad job presenting your opinion in the video with Xander Hall, which puts you, which is interesting because the entire point why you made that video was to try and call him out for doing a bad job, but you also did a bad job. Okay. Like, and that's, if that's your opinion, then like what, I don't, I don't know how to yeah. respond to that, honestly. Oh, okay. I mean, like, well, you like, wanted to come like, on here and talk about it, like, so I'm just telling like you. How, like, what, like, I don't know what uh, burden of proof I can present to you to ch well, really change your mind on this. Well, what do you mean, what burden of proof? Like, I mean, I was the thing is, is like you fixated, you chose a couple of examples while laying out a case that someone's a grifter, which I think is yes. a pretty big thing to call somebody. I think it's pretty uh -huh. intense. And then you also called him a clout shark. But by all intents and purposes, it seems you're doing literally like step for step almost the exact same thing that Xander Hall is. And so given that you're the one who made the video about him and you've been the one tweeting about him, I guess I'm just kind of interested in, well, if you're making a case against this guy and you think he's bad, I mean, I, I've seen multiple comments by you that say, oh, like, uh, Xander like, Hall's yeah, content is bad, all these things. Well, then like, like, but you're doing the same shit, like literally the same exact shit. No, 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 no. How? Like, okay, like, I will, I will fully admit that this is like 100% like me trying to like be inflammatory, incendiary. Like, that's just I mean, the that's, nature of that how much these things is works. very obvious, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and I'm not here to deny the fact that I'm trying to be incendiary, that I'm trying to have a very aggressive tone when it comes to this. Okay. Like, 
and I don't think that there's anything wrong with having an, I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with having aggressive tones when it comes to critique. Okay. I don't think, I don't well, think it's not just tone disagree. though. We're not just, but this is the thing we've already, I've already established. Like, we're not just talking about tone. Okay. We're talking like, about the, thing, the though, argument like, that you made doesn't actually line up. The evidence that you've lined up doesn't show that he's a grifter. Wait, how does it not line up? Like what, wait, like specifically, what do I like, bring Hall about? doing bad in a debate six months ago is not evidence of someone being okay. a grifter. I'm sure, Xander Hall having a five second clip on. that you chip, climp chimped out is like, which I, I can't imagine anything being more clip chimped than taking five seconds and then adding in your own special effects instead of, that's like the definition of clip chimping. That is an evidence of someone being a grifter. And okay. guess what? The thing is, here's the thing. But like, you're not, you're not, like, you're not addressing my actual argument here. What's your which actual is like, argument? Like, I'm, I'm, okay. So let me try one, let me try one more time to build the full case. Okay. Okay. Please. The, the full case here mm -hmm. is that I believe Xander Hall is a grifter because, um, because he is trying to infiltrate into these separate communities, such as like the drama community, such as like the liberals. Uh, through either like change like through either um, like self-identifying as like a, a sock dem and thinking that that's going to make it easier for him to get into these communities without like principled reasons why he's becoming a sock dem. Okay. In addition to the fact that like I think that his rhetoric, the reason for this being is that like his content, as it stands, is like has not changed. It's not as good, and because like he makes like this bad content here. And that he's finding that like he's having trouble expanding his viewership base here. Instead of making better content and like tightening up his rhetoric, he's doing these other things, like such as like changing your identification or like trying to infiltrate these communities that to me seem like I don't know, they just seem sus to me. Okay. And that's kind of like where I'm at. See, now what the argument you've just laid out, the case you've just laid out to me, following that, it sounds like um the conclusion is not like that he's a grifter or anything like that because it doesn't really sound like you have the evidence of that at all but in laying out your case what it does it is clear is that you don't like xander hall so no. i mean that's what it sounds like that's like it just no, basically like, came down he just seems do sus. i have to do, do i have to like him like here's, no, here's you the don't thing. Do have, I have to like to... him but 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 yeah. it's really fun but but my critique of your video was that it mm -hmm. sounds like what it basically is is you don't like Xander Hall, but you want to make it like a moral political issue, but you don't actually have the it's evidence. It's not a moral issue. Like oh, I say in the video I mean, that I want his content to be better. Like I, mean, I genuinely want Xander Hall's content to be better. I think that he has a lot of reach on the platform. I think he has a lot of influence on the platform. I generally want him to tighten up his like tighten up his debate style. I want him to tighten up his rhetoric. I want him to address some of the racist undertones in his, like, at least when it comes to black issues. Sure. I want him to include people from these marginalized communities when it comes to his rhetoric. And in these things, I generally want Xander Hall to be better. I am not trying to destroy okay. him or his platform. Hmm. Yeah. Um, and like, I mean, I've made, I like in it's every just... single comment here, I say that like, yeah, I think his content's bad, but I want it to be better. If you look throughout like the comments section in there, if you look through like the Twitter posts, I say like Twitter posts here, I don't say like ever, or if you like in my conversation earlier with De uh, Denim today yeah. or Denim's today, like I tell her that I do not want to end his career. That's not the goal of this. The sure. goal well, is I mean, to that's make his content whether better. You want to end his career or not. Like, I well, mean, like, you, you straight up said like on like multiple posts, like we saw these on the segment that I did, like. You straight up mm -hmm. said multiple times, like, oh, his content is bad and he's a grifter. Like, that doesn't exactly sound like, again, that doesn't exactly sound like what you do when you want somebody's content to get better. Maybe I'm wrong, but like, that really seems like the opposite of what you would do when you, um, if you wanted somebody's content to get better. And uh -huh. even if that was the case, the argument that you made doesn't help his content get any better because, like, you didn't actually, like, you didn't compare like two versions of his vegan debate like he didn't have a vegan debate six months ago and you go here's what he okay. was there here's him repeating the same mistakes today you 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 but like, took a but vegan like debate wait wait you wait you took okay. a vegan debate and then you said this is bad ha 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 and then you took some other take that was really really clipped and i don't know the whole context of it i can't find the whole context i could if I'll i send spend you the a video lot. sure that's fine but um, the fact, but again, the fact of the matter is, like, you didn't provide any context for those clips. Those clips were clipped out def definitionally out of context. And then there was an allegation made that this is like representative of like racism. So you had a whole bunch of these different sort of vague 
accusations to lob against him, and then you made it in the video form that's basically just to insult him. So my question is then, like, why wouldn't you just own up that you just don't like him and want to insult him? Why would why frame wait, it as wait, some kind not, of like, wait? Is it mutually exclusive that I can critique and insult him at the same time? No, I think that's totally possible. I feel like I do that all the time. Okay, so like that—that's yeah. what I'm saying—is that like I think that like but I don't think you did any I, critiquing. No, I don't think I, there was I, any I critiquing critique being him. done. No, like, I literally critique all of his takes when it comes to black. When I critique the points where he like critiques black issues, right? No, like the you thing just is, presented like, them he, and then and then made like a no, monkey, no 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 like okay, going, let's walk through like the specific things what I brought there, right? Like okay, no, that section is from the uh the portion where I talk about like the the vegan debate, but like specifically the black issue, like the specifically the black culture part, right? The, the there's a couple segments in there so the first okay. one is is that he makes a really shitty joke when it comes to uh, if you vote for joe biden you're black there and like uh and on his twitter earlier i know that this is more or less like i know that this is like less because of my, my this is more because i don't understand tw how twitter works uh -huh. as much as i probably should but like those uh screenshots of him uh of like george floyd and xander hall's face being like mixed yeah. like mixed together sure. The, and that tweet, that tweet exists. That tweet's real. I know that you said that you're like Wait. calling that into question. No, no, I didn't. But like that, I, that, that, that tweet was deleted. It, but yes, it did exist at one point. I agree. Okay, yeah, and that to me is really problematic. I think that that's something right. that's really, really bad. Um, the other thing, uh, and like he still finds it okay to make these types of jokes. Uh, the second part, um, is uh, what was it? The second part. Give me a second here. So yeah, I mean, problematic tweet or bad joke or whatever you want to call it. Again. Oh, the second part is just like where I point out that like I believe that his statements are contradictory. Like this is a rhetoric critique where he's both arguing for the existence of black culture and for the non-existence of black culture. So that's the callback to the vegan debate. That's that that was the point of that segment in there. What does that? How did those connect? That's what I'm saying is that like he makes contradictory statements in his arguments, but, right? But, but, but contradict but contradictory statements in your arguments is like there's a lot of different ways that you can make contradictory statements that's not like they're not connected by topic they're not connected by argument style at all Wait, they're just like but like how is he like was wrong. the existence but both also the existence uh, and non-existence of culture like black culture like not contradictory i don't understand how that's not contradictory but, but also there's another like side of this too which is that like in the clip that you provided about black culture like I don't know that there's even enough there to conclude that he's being contradictory. Like, I feel like you could probably clip me or almost anyone else, like, in the middle of a stream argument while you're trying to explain something. Like, I mean, fuck, the other day I was ta I was on stream talking about um, white culture and whiteness, and I was, I and I'm sure that I kind of made, like, technically, if they were, if it was clipped and not, and the whole argument wasn't heard, like, contradictory statements about how white culture doesn't really exist but i hate white culture or whatever that's not really like it's it's a it's a base level contradiction but but the point that's being made in the segment is different so i don't even know like that we can conclude that that's like a a, a really good example of being like super contradictory it's just like you clipped like 10 seconds where it sounds like he he contradicted himself but we never even hear the full argument okay like in okay if you think that i don't include it with that specific segment then fine but like, if you want to like watch like the full video, I still believe that he contradicts himself in the full video. Okay. I just wanted to do like a, I wanted to do like a cute meme more than anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. And like if yeah, okay, fine. That particular part is clip chimped. If if yeah, you want to sure. like, I'll concede that. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But the third part, the third part there, where he says that like um like poor people, and it's like specifically mm -hmm. like when he's talking about a segment with black people, mm -hmm. saying that they typically don't grow up with good manners. That to me feels really in, like um, analogous to like you, something that you hear from like a right winger. Well, what what do you think and, he was saying there? Like, what argument do you think he was making there? Well, like he's like um, because like to me, what it sounded like, and again, I haven't seen his original video. I've I've uh -huh. seen the clip, um, but when I heard him talking about that, um, I heard like him saying, "Oh, well, you know, people who are poor don't necessarily have access to the best manners." Well, I mean. Like, in other contexts, like, we talk about this sort of thing all the time. Um, in fact, this sure. is, like, commentated on this, th that particular, um, but like, 
Wait, that, that, that feels like a, thing, that's like a feels argument though. Wait, that's not like, a feels like argument. I could, I could, like, I could use my feels argument of like, like for me to contradict that, right? Like all I have to do is say that like my wife works at a tile one school, right? Like where okay. you're like literally sure. giving government food, right? Like government mm -hmm. handouts, right? Yeah, so I have also had experience with like a poor school and they have actually had really good manners. Okay. okay? That's fine. But, but yeah. And that's what, what I'm saying is, is that there's no, like the clip is so short and so out of context that I don't even know what the argument he's trying to make there is. You you framed it as if he's trying to say, oh, black people have bad manners. But I think what he was trying to say is that when people say, and I don't know, maybe I'm wrong about this, but I'm just trying to understand what, like I'm trying to steal man and understand what argument was trying to be made there. And like, it seems to me like there's many different arguments that could be carried out like that. Like what if he was saying like, oh yeah, people say, black people have bad manners or whatever but it actually isn't about manners it's more about the fact that you grow up in different circumstances which was again the the reason why i even bring this up is because this was in this was in parasite the movie parasite i just that everybody i just think that yeah there are better ways of going about this argument that like you don't even okay. need to like re like go down to like these pathways like to bring but up manners is not something you need to make in this argument well, like likewise, there are way though, better don't you think that there could have been a, then in that exact same in that exact same context then don't you think that there's a better way that you could have made your case against Xander Hall except uh, like like better than like finding probably a, a, seemingly, yeah, like, a seemingly offensive like five like five probably, second clip? yeah like yeah I probably like could have made stretch. a better video like, again that seems I, like, like but bad it's, it's not it's not I don't think it's really a stretch though and I think that like again I still stand by the content in this video I still think that like if you watch the original videos I link the videos in the description like I still think that like even with with the the full context of these Wait, videos. Did you? I don't think you did. Unless you changed it by earlier. Unless you changed it since now. Last I checked those there were no links to the to the vods at the time uh, at the time we watched it earlier. Okay. So no, I I sorry. That was actually something that I add, right? Like I okay. saw that critique and like yeah, like I still stand by this content, okay? okay. Like I have added sure. that I I I see that critique and I added those later, okay? Okay. So like I still stand by this content. I still think that with the full context of these videos, I still think that with I, I'll link them the videos to them. You can watch sure, the sure. full videos in context. I certainly I think still that would think help, that yeah. even in context, these are kind of questionable things to say. Okay. And like even like with the hip hop thing, I think that like that's a really reductive take on a specific brand of music. Paul Joseph Watson made an entire video on uh on uh the truth about popular culture which is essentially shit talking popular culture as like an entire thing. This feels like a rehashed version of that argument only specifically towards hip hop. And like, it feels like incredibly like either Xander Hall doesn't know what he's talking about when it comes to hip hop. So he just shouldn't have said anything okay. or, you know, I, I think that, I don't know. I don't know what kind of pre, uh, predispositions he has when it comes to this type of stuff. Yeah. But I, but like in my experience, hip hop is an incredibly deep genre. That has a lot of different topics and a lot of people under the same umbrella. So I think that at least with that specific thing, he shouldn't have bothered with that. I think that like okay. at least the specific points, they're really weak. Well, I, I, I don't know. The thing, the thing that I come to about this is like, I feel like I could literally pick any, any creator and, and sit through their content and sift through it and find like a, a five second clip where it could make them say anything. Like for example, in this, in this conversation, you have read back to me things that Xander Hall have said. And if mm -hmm. I clipped it, for, so it was just the five seconds where you were saying what Xander Hall said, and I posted that. It would it would appear as though you said the thing that Xander Hall actually said, which you were quoting. Do you see what the problem sure. of cutting things out of like deeply out of context is? This is something I mean, that I oppose when people do this, and I feel like you engaged in that like pretty pretty goddamn heavily here. And what it seems like is that you were weaponizing out of context clips in order to basically try and uh, slap together like a case by which you could morally or, or rhetorically or whatever impugn Xander Hall and you weren't actually okay. attempting to understand any of his arguments. I think that, um, at least for me, right? Uh -huh. I, per, I, I wanted to make a video and I think that like when I went through, when I went through the editing process, uh -huh. I felt like the, I feel like if I included like the full segments there, I felt like the video felt bloated, at least to me. Okay. And like to me, I enjoy making snappy content that's just my style. Yeah. And the thing is, is that like, if I, like, I still stand by this content and I still stand by, like, if you want to watch the videos, I still think that these in context still look yikes. Okay. And like, I'm, I wanted to, like, I wish you would have just, just, I wish you would have just said, instead of saying the video about, you know, Xander Hall is a, 
is a grifter whatever other things you implied that you would have just said damn xander hall is yikes because it seems like what you have is you have the evidence to say that maybe he's yikes when taken out of context but you don't really have the evidence to make the claim that you went in there making okay and like if you want me to make another video where like i include the full context for these things i'll do it but I mean, like the thing know. is like, like i just think like the reason why i do look the reason why i do the drama mama segments um, mm -hmm. is because there's a lot of drama and I feel like it's helpful to sort of um, cut open the noise, get in and figure out what actually happened, what people are actually saying, what evidence there actually is of the claims that people are making. Because it's really easy to just say things off the cuff all over the place and people don't remember it or don't have any evidence for it. So the reason why I do these sorts of things is because of that. And, and the reason, the larger reason why I do that is because I do think there's a problem of... Um, like people um getting in like like i don't know like turf wars or like click wars where their wars just kind of like go where their fan bases kind of go back and forth at each other forever and nobody can know what's actually being talked about and then there's these rumors that can spiral out of control like claims about people being racist and, and claims about people being grifters and i don't know when thing. i see a very big claim being made i usually want to see like the evidence for that and there was a pretty big and pretty big pretty inflammatory claim being made here and when i looked into the evidence it just really didn't seem like you had it okay and the, like okay sure yeah i still think that like when it comes to xander hall i want to reiterate this and i want to make this exceedingly mm -hmm. clear mm -hmm. i don't think that uh xander hall is like uh, an incredibly bad person i just okay. think that like his his um I think the way he has crafted his arguments doesn't do him justice. I think that he sure. could make ex way better arguments, especially when it comes to black culture and this topic. Yeah. I just think that in this particular video, he did a very poor job and that like his arguments are more, more feels versus reels here. Yeah. Um, and I want to actually see Xander Hall succeed, mm -hmm. but like, I don't think that like, um, I don't, I don't necessarily think that like I need to take the gentle approach when it comes to making my videos. I think that this was just like I wanted to make something that like I would personally enjoy. I would personally well, I mean, enjoy watching. Is it about a this. gentle approach or is it about an honest approach? Is what it seems like to me. I think this is still honest. Because like I, I still feel think like it is. I feel like you committed every single thing that you accused Xander Hall of in your videos, and mm -hmm. maybe a little more, honestly. Okay. And sure. like and like I don't know. Like at the end of the day, you made the video, you launched it, whatever. Um, like I just I I just I don't know. I I find like it's a I'm not sold. I'm not sold on the argument, you know, especially I'm not, I'm not a sold on the video. I feel like it, it didn't do okay. a good job. You know, you didn't rhetorically like sell your point. You didn't really tie the evidence together. And yeah, I mean, I guess that's that. And I guess at the end of the day, the, the, ra the roundup is I can understand why Xander Hall would want to say, I'm not going to like, I don't want to fucking spend time talking to this person. Because sure. I would not like, probably that's wouldn't. that's his right. And like the thing yeah. is, like after today, I'm not going to touch this anymore. Like yeah. I, I really am not. Like I'm not interested in like harassing Xander Hall. Yeah. I wanted I wanted to save my one day of like releasing the video, talking shit on Twitter, because that's what you do. And then like the second day, like I'll talk to you guys if you have questions for me, because I talked to you both you and Denims, which I know yeah. that you're in his circles. Sure. So like, hey, like I don't mind Very I loosely, don't mind yeah. standing up for my my own like my own content here. Like uh -huh. I still think that like I, I personally still stand by this video and I yeah. still think that like there's still valid critiques in it. Sure. And like whether like I and if you personally don't feel like this is like a valid critique, that's fine. Yeah. But I like I definitely I don't think the video did a good job presenting a valid critique personally. Um, okay. but I mean, you know, if you're proud of your work, then that's fine. I just don't really see I didn't see the video making a good argument and I just didn't th think it really accomplished it. I do think Zan I think I do think Zanzi had a pretty good uh, approach on it, talk you know, um, elaborating on that and whatnot. But um, but yeah, uh, yeah. At the end of the day, yeah, I just didn't didn't really think particularly well of the video, and I don't think it really, you know. Usually when I try to review someone's video, especially one that's like a call out, I always try to see okay, is is this person actually even living up to their own standards? And I just don't really think that your video is a good example of you living up to the standards you're holding another content creator to. Okay. Yeah. And like, sure. Like, here's the mm -hmm. thing. I fully admit that like I'm using inflammatory methods to get my video in the algorithm because, you know, that's the type of content that seems to get any traction. Mm -hmm. um, Sometimes, yeah. I mean, definitely. I mean, for sure. There's definitely like, um, like inflammatory. Like, I'm trying like, like I like, and the thing is like, I'm not one to say like, I'm not trying to grow my own platform, yeah. but like, 
I don't know. I don't think presenters. Yeah, yeah. we're all trying. We're all trying to do our own thing out here. And like the thing, like the thing is, like I don't have any problems with like people trying to grow their own platform. Mm -hmm. I think I just have problems more or less the way that like Xander Hall is going about it. It just Mm -hmm. seems like, um, kind of disin. It seems disingenuous to me. And like other people have kind of made like the same critiques, like like in those circles themselves. I mean, the thing is, like your video seemed pretty disingenuous to me. Okay. Yeah. So I mean. At the, again, at the end of the day, it just seems like basically everything you've accused Xander Hall of here, you could also accuse yourself of. And, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, again, like, as far as I'm concerned, like, I'm a pretty spicy bitch. Like, I, I get engaged in a lot of, um, you know, uh, some big shouting matches, usually with right-wingers is usually who I'm engaging with. Um, but not always. I mean, there was the whole Destiny thing. But, um you know, with the whole Destiny thing, I basically, Destiny was already yelling at people, and I just kind of weighed in and said my own piece, and then he said he wanted to argue with me, and so I did, um, and that definitely generated a lot of attention for my channel, not a lot of positive attention, but definitely a lot of attention, um, but I don't know, yeah, yeah, I guess, um, I guess when, when I weaponize inflammatory, um, you know, I feel like, I personally feel like, I like, I, I don't know, I personally feel like that debate was very mixed, um, yeah, I think that like Maybe. there was definitely things that both you and he could have done better. I feel like I don't know. I feel like that that de- I I don't know. I have mixed feelings about that debate. Yeah, that's fine. I um I hope that like again, I think that maybe wasn't one of your finer moments there personally, mm-hmm. but like I think that like I I generally wasn't enjoy one of your content either, so yeah. No, it wasn't. And like yeah. I generally enjoy your content and I hope you do well. Like I don't really wish ill towards people. I really want people to make better content. And if you don't mm-hmm. think I would succeed in that endeavor, then that's fine. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't I can... think this one is a particularly good example of it, this particular video. And again, like, I'm not, like, I'm not impugning you as, like, a, a person. Like, I just, mm-hmm. I, I think that this video was a miss. And, um, okay. yeah, but, but you know, at the end of the day. All I can say is, yeah. like, if people should watch the video for themselves, yeah, see for if sure. they think it's fine or not. We did also watch it watch on the stream, the... so yeah. Yeah, and, like, also just, like, watch, like, the, um, uh, uh also watch like the the videos that i've linked there thanks for like letting me know i'm fine i'm happy with doing that i still stand by this like i still think that like watch the video without the commentary see what you think for yourself watch the the uh debates that xander hall was in or the cl- the segments that xander hall was in mm-hmm. i still stand by what i say here so all right well as long as you're you know you're willing to stand by your video and and whatever critiques come the way that's fine um but yeah um yeah uh, I, I'm glad we, glad we got to talk about it. I I was uh I was. Oh yeah. Also, I seen your chat. I'm shit at mixing audio. I will fully admit that I'm really shit at mixing audio, and I really need to improve on that one. <laughs> I know that you said that like the audio the the music was too loud for the always sunny. It bit, was too loud. We, but couldn't, like, we couldn't hear anything that people were saying in the video. Yeah, but it's okay. yeah. It that's happens. my bad. I've done it too. I'm I've shit at audio too. mixing, but like Don't whatever. Worry. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Yep, I mean that was more or less my thoughts on it. So you you've heard me right. now. No need to to keep going revisiting it. Um, sure. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? No, not really. Okay. Uh, I know that Zan's probably no longer interested in interacting with me, but I'm still oh. interested in talking to him if he ever is interested in reaching out. Um, but yeah, I I appreciate you for letting me speak my piece. I know course, that you vehemently disagree with like what I have to say, but. I, mean, I hope you know that, I like, don't be, I, don't, I, don't I don't wish any will towards general you. Term. I mean, I, I, I largely think, I mean, from everything, every conversation I've had with you has been very pleasant. Um, and, uh, and you know, what I'm familiar with of your content has been, fu- has been per- you know, perfectly fine. I just, except for this video, I just feel like this was, you know, pretty uncharitable and uh, pretty manipulative in the way that it was presented and also just didn't have a, an argument that lined up. That's, that's all. I just, okay. you know. Okay, yeah. So, I- yep. Um, but, yeah, yeah. Um, Anyway, uh, let's talk again soon, okay? Yeah, for sure. All hey, right. Take care. Yeah, you too. Have a good night. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, chat. What'd you think? See you. Thank you. Thank Nonsense. you, Lanny. The destiny debate Appreciate was it. incredible. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think so. That didn't feel... I don't know. I didn't feel that the defense was particularly strong. Yeah, that was more or less... I mean, Mayfei, that was my expression as well. Yeah, I tried to make as much sense as I want, but I didn't want to... uh, I didn't want to... um, 
listen, I don't want to, I don't want to grill somebody like live, but at the same time, I feel like I should push back. Yeah, it, there was, it did feel, uh, it did feel a bit backpedally, um, in my opinion, but you know, I don't expect someone to come to all the conclusions. Just remember, I don't expect someone to come to all conclusions in the middle of a live stream debate, like, or live stream discussion. Like, Graugot came on, came on here to talk about it. Maybe, maybe he'll, maybe he'll le learn his lesson and improve his content. I mean, I do find that that was a little bit, um, if Grau's video was called Zan is bad at debate, then that would be a fair conclusion for him to draw with the clips he had. He just doesn't have all the pieces. I do agree. Do I think that Xander Hall should debate Graugot? Well, I mean, I think it would be interesting.